Well, those are lockers, not cabins. What? Uh, I'm having... <clears throat> okay. Open that cabinet. Catherine, what the fuck? Where? Wait, what? The, the monster appears in two separate instances. The one who spawns all the way down where you obtain the battery pack. My brother in Christ, I got the battery from the top. From the top. Top position. It is not supposed to follow you all the way back up. Another one will spawn if you reach the floor where Catherine is waiting for you and it's Monster will chase you to the corridors. Okay, I'm. Am I spoiling myself? I'm. Um, I'm, I'm getting. Uh, getting a bit uh, confused over here, boys. Yes. Oh, you motherfucker. You. Okay. All right. All right. I admit it is my fault. It is. However, hear me out. Hear me out. It is obvious. It is obvious. Yeah. Because I looked at it twice. I commented once and you know what exactly I did with it you're right I did nothing with it because I was pushing the other things I've been in here where is it and be like oh yeah here are the funny cylinders with the gel and here you see it once every 10 seconds it's flashing Because I didn't press this. Why? Ah! Oh. What do you mean control chip required? That doesn't help me at all. Oh, I see. I see. We are quote unquote repairing it because it has a repairing effect on technology and a okay ish repairing but destructive effect on organics. I did repair a red and now I repaired the chip. Yep. 
So like the WoW configured it to keep it alive. Amazing. We now have all three parts. We might go now. Now we have tamed cheat. You know what? I I prefer the yellow cheese. There are many different kinds of yellow. Uh, not this kind of cheese. Not up. This one? Yoink! Oh, that's a bit unrealistic. Piss off another one of WoW's monsters. We have everything we need, right? Yeah. Let's get to work. Well, the good thing is, I'm blind and no, the game is not bugged. You, you know what? I take this as a win. Anyways, how exactly do I install this? Oh. This is crazy. Don't worry, it'll work. Shh. Sure. This is going to be our new body. I can't believe we're doing this. It will be fine. Then why don't we put you in the suit? I was going to suggest that if you refused. You'd go without me. I need to do this, Simon. This is important. I need to launch the Ark. You'd really do it? Change body? Yes. If you want to stay here, I'm not going to stand in your way. I don't want to tell you what to do. Well, it'd be like before. Close my eyes and then... And then open them again. All right, let's do it. Thank you, Simon. Go sit in the pilot seat in the next room. You might need to boot it up. And then we're skipping like 50 years again? Sounds amazing. We need to loop back the activity manifested by your current Cortex chip, run it through the amplifier, feed it into the new chip, and then make sure it's synced. You lost me halfway oh. there. You don't really need to understand it. Just make them line up. Done. That's everything. You can climb into the pilot seat now. Sorry about any discomfort. This should be over soon. It's like having a picture taken. But with the most expensive camera in the world. You know, Indians thought photos would steal their souls. In this case, they'd be right. <laughs> That's like the beginning of the game, and then hun uh, more than 100 years passed. Now, remember, the better thing is, our head is currently a two-sided camera. What was that? No, I, it just... Why was it still talking? It's the same like before. Catherine, why was he still talking? That's how it works, you know that. What do you mean? You know it's not magic. You were copied. The sleeping Simon in the seat was copied. And now, you are here, just like Simon lived on in Toronto. God damn you, Kath. 
two Simons? There can't be two Simons. What did you think would happen? That you were going to take my mind and put it into another body, like a brain transplant. I'm sorry, it wouldn't work that way. You realize how messed up this is? Please, I didn't mean to upset you. How did you expect me to react to this shit? Please stop. You're fucking disgusting. What's going to happen here? He'll sleep for a while, a few days. And then what? Wake up in this fucking nightmare again? All alone? That's so cruel. Well, what do you want me to do with him? Make friends? Let him know that we have to leave him behind when we go into the abyss? What if... What if he didn't need to wake up? You'd do that? I don't know. Maybe. There. I set it up for you. Hit the switch if you want to drain his battery. He'll die within a minute. I'd rather not stay plugged in anymore. Well, I had this discussion uh, at the very beginning of the game and when the concept of cloning your digital brain has been introduced. I love nothing more than myself. So two me's is amazing. And because he is me, he will think the exact same. Oh yeah, right. I need my door open up. I'm not one of the crazy guys with the continuation or whatever. More me is more better. Although this robot doesn't have a dick, so I can't blowjob myself, but uh, if I would have a dick, I w that would be the first thing I would do. Depends on how you see it. Depends. Do you have an ego? Then you probably think the same. Do you value yourself? That's the question, probably. Oh, I know where we are. More or less. We could go straight in front, but hear me out. Now let's go right. Yep, I know where we are. Something, something over there is where we uh, got in before. Can I just jump down? No, I cannot. Okay. Are you selfish? Then he'll be selfish with you as well. Uh, depends. I would say no. The, I know this will sound crazy, but um, if, for example, I would have been cloned at any moment and my identical clone would stand in front of me, I would be totally cool because he is me, so he will think the same way. Which you might think sounds a bit weird, uh, which is correct. Depends. Catherine, do you want me to uh, recognize you as a living being? Let's say yeah. Go. Oh, we are like talking two of those persons. Okay, gotcha. The sunlit zone, rich in light and oxygen. Pathos to main plateau. I want to go to the deep world. Poor light, lack of oxygen, no permanent sights. You wouldn't understand. How could he? I couldn't do it, and you knew it. You were right in trying to hide him from me. Only we 
wish you'd done a better job. I basically flipped a coin, and if I had called the wrong side, I'd be rotting away at Omicron. I mean, there's nowhere to know, right? You didn't hit the make sure Simon wakes up in the right body switch, did you? Not that you would know. I mean, he would still claim to be the right Simon. Christ. This is awful. We did an awful fucking thing. And you wouldn't mind. Why would you? What a fucking Philistine, dude. On one side, I can understand my protagonist's way of thinking. On the other hand, he is a fucking idiot. Please. I don't know what to say. I don't want to upset you. Say anything. When I was little, I used to climb the stairs all the way to the top of the building. And I can still feel how I did. Permanent darkness. No permanent sights. ATM is atmospheric pressures. I felt the warm wind in my hair and the sun was setting and the streets below were shadowed by the tall buildings. The people pushing through the crowd flowed like paint from an artist brush. Street food vendors filled the air with aromas of all my favorite foods. For a brief moment, I felt connected to the world in a way that I never had before. It was the most profound feeling of comfort and sense of belonging I could ever hope for. I really never felt the same way again, but I went up to the roof many times after. That was the problem. <laughs> people would be. The privilege of being makes a strong case, at least every once in a while. Do you still feel that sense of awe? Even like this? Things are different, but we're still here. What's the point of going on? Everyone's gone. All the people still left are digital copies trapped in computers at the bottom of the sea. We'll never be able to rebuild or reclaim what we were. Are you really so unhappy being what you are, or is this about the man who went for a scan a hundred years ago? Both, I guess. When I was back in Toronto, even the worst case, the darkest futures I could predict, they at least included my previous life somehow. I feel so uprooted. There's nothing here that I recognize, nothing that makes me feel like I belong. Even if we make it to the ark, would it be any different? I'd still be alone. No friends. No family. You could make new friends. I'm sure everyone would like to know the time traveler. If not, you still have... Oh no, the dialogue transcription at the bottom did not spoil this at all. Yeah. Hmm. I like it here. I prefer the dark over the light. I have to say, there are bioluminescent creatures, but this is a bit, uh, that's a bit, bit much. Well, I have a very fast and easy way done. So, we only have one real question. Can I touch the jellyfish? No. Just grab the thing. That makes no sense. I have the diving suit on. Well, hmm. I can go unto the abyssal zone. Not the... What was it called? The the, the ever dark or whatever? Like... The, the 6000 to 10,000 meter zone? Wait, what? Oh, okay. I, for a moment I was like, wait. <laughs> 
Uh, do Ma Wait, do I have to be here the dialogue again? Have I done a, a huge mistake? Did the game actually not give me a checkpoint? Why is my curiosity in games always either completely rejected, like in this case, or so hard rewarded that the entire game breaks? Yeah, the deep world. We probably, if we jump down, we just go straight after the abyss and down the deep world. It's dumb luck, right? And I woke up in the right body. It's a redundant copy. I'll never experience my journey, the full journey. He wouldn't understand. How could he? I couldn't do it, and you knew it. You were right in trying to hide it. I wish you'd done a better job. I basically flipped a coin, and if I had called the wrong side, I'd be rotting away at Omicron. I mean, there's nowhere to know, right? Didn't the Titanic sure sink in the Pacific? In the right switch, did you? We're in the Atlantic. Not that you would know. I mean, he would still claim to be the right side. Shit! I, I actually don't know where the Titanic uh, sunk. We did an awful fucking thing. And you wouldn't mind? Why would you? Let's How search you know this. It's not me, the me that I am, the same that I've always been. Please say something. I don't want to think. Please. I don't know what to say. I don't want to upset you. Say oh, yeah. When I was little. 690 I kilometers south, south southeast of the now new founded so North real. Atlantic Ocean. To be correctly, 41 north, 49 west. So that is the si oh that is like the sinking location. We have Europe over there, and over there is uh, America. And if I would have a pen or something, like that. if I'm not mistaken, Pathos Two is like here. There. On the top left from your view, where the ruler is, there is Pathos too, between Spain and New York. Not 100% sure. Out of out of my uh, out of my mind, maybe. Back in Toronto, even the worst case, the darkest futures I could predict, they at least included my previous life somehow. I feel so uprooted. There's nothing here that I recognize, nothing that makes me feel like I belong. Even if we make it to the ark, would it be any different? I'd still be alone. No friends. No family. You could make new friends. I'm sure everyone would like to know the time traveler. Anyway, maybe this time not to run. I deleted time. What are you, King Crimson? When you're about to sleep, and 
there's a natural continuation since we tend to wake up where we went to sleep. My experience is more like an ever-changing moment that never... Your first crush ever was named Catherine. Well, I hope your crush wasn't a... I suppose so. I guess it sounds exciting, but... Well, not crazy, but, um... Otherworldly scientist. Hello, Lee. Good evening to you. Could be a time traveler stuck in a body made from black goo. That'd be the worst. How, how, chromatic, chromatic um, flickering is the uh, the visual effect we're currently having. Oh, it appears we are taking the faster way down. I think that is Acre. Based on the story that from from all people we have not yet met but heard that has to be Acre. Am I the bad guy? I don't know. Maybe? Any cheese down here? So realistically seen, we are at... Well, it, it just turned off, but we are um, at around 400 times the atmospheric pressure. If, for example, you would have a slice of Gouda, it would have been compressed down to an itsy-bitsy hyper-effective cube. So you can eat just the tiniest cube of, uh, of cheese, but it would be multiple kilograms. Which would mean that cheese could be as hard as m a stone mineral or something like that. So we could mine cheese. Ooh. How is it called? Um, The fear of of um, uh, being under the ocean, underwater. Um, Talaslo, ta Tarasno, ta um, all the people are writing it in their first subnautica. Talasophobia. Thank you. Whenever people are playing phasmophobia for the for the first time, um, this view right here. Being 3,000 meter down in the bottom, that's worse than Subnautica in any way or form. People with Thalassophobia, they could not play this game at this point. If they could play it 500 meters down in the in the upper beginnings of the game, right here they are. And I find it hilarious every single time. <laughs> I'm very sorry, Lee. I'm very sorry. <laughs> no, I do not have this fear. Luckily for me, I, as far as I know, have... Not a single fear known to me. Tau? Come in, Tau. Not Please claustrophobic. No fear of fights. No fear of deep oceans. No fear of space. Let's move out. We'll try the next one. It's, it's just water. It, you know, Lee. Fair point. It does have a bit of uh, a, a bit of that. That is like mutated stuff. Well, it's basically it's construction gel, but it's or structure gel. But since a meteor crashed into Earth, uh, yeah, that is how it looks. 
It has a lot of death space. Uh, dead space, yeah. It's dead space meets Bioshock, yeah. A actually, actually perfect. But without the shooting and the good enemies and the good gameplay and um, no guns. <clears throat> but the story is good. Although I messed the names up a lot. Let's just follow the path. If I die, I need you to tell Julia Dahl that the WoW is out of control. She needs to get to Sauron. He'll know what to do. Raj, you can tell them yourself. We just need to pick up the pace, okay? Glass! We lost the path! We need to go back! I know where to go. Come on! It's over there! <laughs> Final push for us. Almost there. We just. <laughs> that was one of the persons. All the way up there somewhere. Who tried uh, to go to the other entrance on the annex. After the front door was sealed. And then they fall down and he died. That's okay, Lee. I will not force people with any phobia to, to play. Something they literally are scared the shit or, or feel extremely uncomfortable. It is I have I Myself am extremely happy that I do not have it But I can understand if people have it I will not force you to play it because a game and Remember this everyone the first and fist most thing a game should do is Make have you fun You enjoy it if you are feared out of your mind because of your phobia, the other two things are out of the question. So the game loses its primary objective and by that uh, has no sense of playing anymore. So please do not force yourself to actually play that. <laughs> no. Although I've watched some, uh, some YouTubers um, with Outer Wilds and Subnautica, where people with um, Thalassophobia or whatever, like, played uh, Subnautica and were scared the shit out of the ass. It was so amazing. Or the people who, like, actually are terrified of space playing um, Outer Wilds. It is the funniest shit for me to look people when they do that. Because I am a simple man. Nothing brings me more joy than a terrified person. <clears throat> oh, no more squid. That's so sad. There is... No food in here. Good. Is this interesting? Yeah, sure. Let's read it. <clears throat> Observation 144. Lure dried squid, 1 kilogram. 60 pieces of anima lal. Cameras, quad HDR, low lumina. Results. Target. Fright shark, 150 centimeters. Description. Rare shark approaches... Oh, filed shark, nicht fried shark. <laughs> Rare shark approached the luminous lure. Circled around to eat and... Eat the dried squid, unlike that it frequent its death and abnormally. Sharks this deep? Yeah, probably not, not normal. It must be very cold down here. Probably. I mean, we are. St we will probably still be over freezing point. Or is it? I actually don't know. You know what? That's an interesting question. Let's put on Google again and find out how the, oh, how cold is it in 
like the Mariana uh, Trench, okay? How cold is it in the Mariana Trench? One to four great, uh, degrees Celsius. Yeah, it's very close over freezing points. Which makes sense, because otherwise the water would turn to ice and the ice would float up. Your ball must be uh, shrugged in almost invincible. We are a reanimated robot. Do you really think we have balls? <clears throat> anyway. Results, target, giant squid with 1,200 centimeters. Description, mantle of the size of a man, about 200 centimeters. Estimated length of a whole thing is about 10 to 12 meters. Frantic attack toward the Marlin path. As soon as we turned on the lights, it quickly fled the arena. Clearly another specimen around by leaking structure gel. Partially covered in scales and newly formed bone structure, prudding through the mantle. Ugh. I wish I wouldn't instantly think of everything, especially not the Mariana Trench. That's a funny, uh, funny location. I know that sounds probably cruel since you're here, but if there would be a safe way to go down to the Mariana Trench, I would love being there. Because there is so much we still don't know about the life down there. So much you can explore, so much to discover. And with each, each discovery, there are new, new hypotheses, new possible inventions of materials that can sustain such high pressure. It is amazing. We don't know like 80% of our ocean life. The deeper we go, the more we don't know. And you know, that is why I said a safe way to go there because of course there could be danger. Um, biology suggests that it is not, but um, just to be safe. But I would love to go down there because most animals, if they are of predatory nature, will probably be of luminescence. So they glow. They will probably look amazing, like actually like Subnautica in, in that regard. And I would love to see that. I went there. You've been on the ground of the Mariana Trench. Good fucking luck. I've, I, I, as far as I know, no human has been ever there. You know, all that stuff we don't know about the ocean can stay unknown. Um, a weird sentence. I, I don't know where you're coming from, though. <clears throat> anyway. Lure. 15 pieces of Amnia. Caught camera. This is some Illumina, though. Results unknown 40 centimeters description the creature distinctified by the gel are maniac a manic and will attack anything Still hard to determine how wow has affected their behavior beyond apparent aggression and affinity with light The creatures seem to hunt something particular something not present in the ecosystem me uh, Oh population size yeah that is I think this is the the moment where the meteor hit. I think the the the, the funny red line. So, <laughs> what are the different colors telling me? I don't know. Anglerfish. <laughs> I <laughs> I just remembered how uh, how I played through my Subnautica playthrough. Um, as you might can, did I did I put my Subnautica playthrough on YouTube? I'm not sure actually. Um, but basically, many people. Myself included, um, we've been scared of the, the Reaper Leviathan or the Ghost Leviathan down in the uh, um, ecological... No, not the ecological text, I don't know what it's called. 
the 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 fossil what is it called the dead reef or the dead river or something like that the green zone um people were terrified of that thing i was too until they gave me the prawn suit and then i remember i've gone to every single reaper in the game and beat it to death with a stick and it was the most hilarious thing ever I am a very simple man. All it needs for me to smile is a dead animal. And oh boy, did I had safe travel after that. <laughs> because Reapers don't respawn. So if you play Subnautica, uh, just kill it. You you were there back then? That's like, holy shit, that's like six years back. You actually know, yeah, that you, you've probably been there. Yeah. Below zero as well. Below zero, however, doesn't have this much scary, uh, scary moments. I can remember when we played below zero, they instantly gave you the prawn suit. I've gone down there with the prawn suit. My first encounter with the with the shadow leviathan or whatever, I instantly beat it to death. Three of them. All of them that existed, and then there was never a Leviathan ever again. And it was the funniest shit ever. Ah, yes, yes, yet now I can read it, sure. The death zone, the, the, uh, the ecological death zone is on the side of the crater in Subnautica 1. Then you have the death, dead river, the, the green zone. Then there is the inactive lava zone and the lava zone. My Subnautica um, vocabulary is a bit out of the... Out of exercise. It's, it's been some time. Oh, message. But yeah, Subnautica was amazing. Anyone there? This is Tau. Who is this? This is Ian Peterson of Theta calling. I got a team with me and we're about half a kilometer from Tau. What? How, how did... You came in the climber? Listen, we're having a really hard time with this sector. Heavy turbulence is making it difficult to move forward and the wildlife you've got is absolutely rabid. The storm comes and goes. The instruments show the weather is relatively fair right now. You should move out as soon as possible. Stick to the lights. The critters should leave you alone. All right, you heard the man. We're moving out, people. Tao, keep the doors unlocked. We're coming in. <laughs> I remember the ghost leviathan as well. Especially when I got the grappling hook. And then I righted his fucking head while beating it to a pulp. <laughs> Uh, we have some different remembrance of Subnautica. <laughs> oh, is this the climber? Are you the climber? Oh. Oh. Ooh. Ah, you show me the way to Tau. I see. Interesting. When I jump, I'm not getting flung away. This thing should must have extremely strong propellers if they are not getting flung away by this uh, water speeds. That's kind of amazing. Oh, we have distortions. I think, yeah.
I couldn't even finish my sentence. As I was saying, we have distortions on screen. I think there is an enemy coming in. Before I even finish the word distortion, the, the game already answered my suspicion. So, no, we follow the green? Hmm? Crunch, crunch. Okay, never mind then. <laughs> Anything I need to go for the toy. <laughs> Lee, take it slow. If this game is nothing for you, I can totally understand it. There are so many of them. Can you guys tell me where I need to go? Well, I go to the right, I guess. I'm always going right. Let's let's hug the right wall. It has to work. Is this would this be considered arachnophobia, like the fear of spiders? Imagine you are a a person who has an extreme fear of spiders while being 3000 meters under the ocean. That would be hilarious. <laughs> You know what that is? You know what that is? You can see it if I look from the left side specifically. You know what that is? <laughs> Should I follow the cable? Hello, let's come on. Da da duty. <laughs> oh wait, you aren't even instantly killing me. That's amazing. <laughs> I can do it again. Do you see me? Are you actively going towards me? Yeah, you are, okay. Wait, I'm still not dead? What? Okay, I'm I'm limping, but uh, other than that, th 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 these guys can do nothing. They They do like no damage. I would like to remember you that the tutorial boss one shot at me. The tutorial. It's been some time since then. I'm also very slow now. So it might be not the best idea I had. I regret nothing. Fish. I hope I walk in the correct direction, by the way. If we are going backwards, then... Uh... Well, we have to go in the right direction. Because previously we didn't have any lanterns to, to guide us. Because we've gone uh, with the drone. Which was then friendly being eaten by, by the fish. Shark? Shark, probably. Oh, music? Something important? Question mark? 
Are you the Tau station? Yeah, you're Tau. Literally the Greek alpha, the Greek character for Tau. Boop. Ah, the machinery is still in perfect working condition. It's just a lot of this blue gel everywhere. to move my mouse very slowly so you can see the loading screen. And there was the loading screen. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know exactly what you mean, Lee. Uh, in the in the earlier game, like, shut up, shut up. Um, right now we are really deep under the ocean. But in the early game, we had a lot of outside passages that immediately not only reminded me of Bioshock, it looked like Bioshock. Like the the distant buildings with the light and the the, the glass uh, pavilions from from Rapture. Inside. I mean, we didn't have we didn't have glass in this game but uh, the building structure was basically the same um instant bioshock vibes and yeah this game is basically bioshock and dead space but without guns uh. i can go in here Th that's cool where else can i go oh a healing ass I don't know what the loud beeping noise is doing, but uh, I'm going to ignore it. Nothing to see here. That's closed. 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 All right. Uh, signal lost, signal lost, signal lost. Active. Currently in tow. All right. I see a new enemy in here. Access lock from the uh, Au Claire. Au Claire? Moment, welchen? HP free. HP. What is the latest? J. Yoshida. Um, or for subject J. Vau R. Well, that suit is still out there, but then Yoshida just herself into that? That sounds kind of wrong, though. Looks like structure gel, though. I think it was Metroid Prime 3, where you had to put the arm in some organic material like uh, that asshole-looking thing. Was it? Um, oh, you mean the Phazon corruption things. I think you, you think of uh, Metroid Prime 3, uh, 2, Echoes, where in the uh, in the dark world, the recharge station and terminals had like um, these organic corrupting views. But I hope Metroid Prime 4 comes soon. I hope Subnautica 3 comes soon. I hope of so many games, dude. We are currently here. And yeah, there is one suit active and currently riding around. Tell me about it. Service station. 
Hi. Auto having Metroid Prime 4 in stock. That's amazing. The game isn't even out yet. How did they got it in stock? <laughs> you should buy a hundred of them. You can sell them for like a literal thousand and people would buy it. 99 of them from Nintendo themselves and then suing you for six times <laughs> the, the money. Yeah, that's the entrance, that's maintenance. Okay, we are here and that is one of the, the, the closed doors. We have the laboratories in the middle and the living area at the very top. So, X's are black boxes. So, whenever a person died, the black box is there. So, surprise, surprise, in the living area are a lot of dead persons. No one could have seen this. You s you look like I could open you, but you do not. Which triggers me even more. By the way, where is this going? Oh, this is another way through here. I mean, okay. But why can't I go through here? Nothing is stopping me from going through here. Huh? I'm pressing F again to interact with the door. Structure gel, hmm? A lot of it. I played video games before. I know where it is. We are not under the water. Le let me tell you, by definition we are. <laughs> we are in a sea base, 3000 meter under the water. I'm going through the laboratories, opening the big door, having some room to go through. Oh, I would like to read in this room. Please close it. It doesn't know that I'm here, right? Okay. Here in Yoshida. Yeah. Okay, 
Okay, this monster is a lot more agile. I can't close these doors, by the way. <sighs> I would like to read the logs, but I'm going to be honest. Having problems with the... Uh, with the funny suit enemy is making this more tedious than I am willing to wait for the information. Yeah, yeah, um, that, that's free. That, that's correct. Um, Nintendo, like, they started developing Metroid Prime 4, and then they'd be like, you know, we are Nintendo. We are making good games. And then they trashed everything they had because it wasn't meeting their, their, their standards, and they started from scratch. And yeah, that actually was five years ago. Five years ago, we only got a title drop, and that's it. Nothing more. <laughs> 